Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com, back to talk about more failed Volkswagen parts. Today we're going to be talking about the Mechatronics unit in the 7-speed DSG. So this right here is the Mechatronics unit out of the 7-speed dry clutch DSG in the US currently is only found in the hybrid. I know in other parts of the world this DSG and this Mechatronics unit are in other 1.4 liter engines, but in the US market, this is only found in the hybrid. But before we get into the show, let's talk about the sponsor of the day, which is Deutsch Auto Parts. These guys are the Volkswagen Audi parts experts, awesome service. In fact, I got a story about their awesome service. I had ordered a set of wheels and one of them had a slight bit of damage on it. I got on the phone with Paul and he immediately took care of it. That really is the level of service that the boys at Deutsche Auto provide. So check them out at shopdap.com. So this is gonna be a little bit different of a how parts fail show. Normally when we do how parts fail videos, the component that we talk about, I've had a part a bunch of times and I understand it very well. I've never had one of these apart, so we're going to all kind of go on this journey together and explore exactly what's inside of this box here. I can tell you a little bit about this mech unit though. It's very much different than the wet clutch mechatronics unit found in almost all the other DSGs that Volkswagen has. The whole entire transmission is actually different. It's even more like a manual transmission than the wet clutch DSG. It's considerably more mechanical. These pistons here move in and out to either pull it into a gear or push into a gear. This component right here on the top basically functions as a slave cylinder. Here on the side are the clutch actuator rods. These push the cl two clutches in and out to basically disengage and engage the clutches. Like I said, this mechatronics unit is controlling a transmission a lot more like a manual transmission would be than an automatic or even the other DSG box. So I'm super excited to take this apart and see exactly what's going on on the inside. Well, that had a lot more fluid in it than, uh, than I had expected. So here's about as far as I could really get it disassembled. On the back side of it, you can see here's the circuit board. This is gonna be the brains of the mechatronics unit. On the fluid side, there's a lot going on. You can see there's a bunch of valving in here. Uh, I think this is probably like a fluid accumulator valving on the other side. I'm guessing that one side controls one set of pistons and the other side controls the other set of pistons. Here's your main plug because again, this is like the TCM built into this unit. And that's exactly the same way the wet clutch system is. The thing about some of these parts and components in cars is that unless you have the schematic or unless you designed it, the way it works is a little bit convoluted. This information is not available. We don't get a breakdown of what all these things do inside of this mechatronic unit. Basically, you've seen the cover on it before I started. 
You don't go inside of there when you're doing a repair. This entire unit gets removed and replaced, basic settings get performed, and then you go on your merry way. And that's the way a lot of things work on modern cars. You can see here is one of the two actuators for the clutch. Here's the other one, fluid pushes it in and out and that controls the clutches, which function just like they do on a manual transmission. The fluid, of which there was a lot left inside of this mech unit, is power steering fluid. There's a measured amount that gets put in, air gets bled out, and that's the fluid that's used to push the pistons in and out to again, disengage or engage the gears. I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. I really was hoping to be able to take this apart even further than I did today. Uh, there's a couple fasteners that I just don't have the tools for to take out apart at home. But I gotta say I don't know that we would really see a whole lot more than we're seeing right now. We might see some different pathways for fluid, but that's really about it. So how does a mechatronic unit fail? Well, odds are you're gonna get a check engine light or an EPC light or some kind of drivability with a shifting concern. The hybrids are so few and far between that we really don't see a ton of them. This is, I think, the second one I've replaced. And each time they've been associated with a fault. This one had a stuck in sixth gear fault. Even though shifting wise, every time I drove it, it was fine. The fault would clear as soon as you drove it three or four times, the fault for stuck in sixth gear would come back. So how do we diagnose it? Well, honestly, this is a really easy diagnosis. We pull the faults, we pick up the phone and we call Volkswagen Tech Line for guidance. Anytime there is an issue with a really expensive part like this or something that's involving the high voltage system, Volkswagen does like to get involved. So we make sure that we open a tech line ticket and call tech line for guidance. Is this a DIY part? It's absolutely not, not, not a DIY part. The removal and install of this part is not very hard. There's a couple of special tools that you need, pins that go in the mounting holes to make sure that it's aligned properly, as well as something to disengage the clutch levers so that they're out of the way. But the big thing is, is the high voltage system does need to be de-energized in order to remove this part. And like a lot of things on hybrids, there's a lot of things that you have to take off just to get to the mech unit. So this is not a DIY. If you're having this kind of issue on a hybrid, Absolutely don't even try it. Take it into the dealership and let them get it taken care of for you. If you're working on a car that has this mech unit in it and it's not a hybrid, I still probably wouldn't DIY this part. Again, there's special tools required. There's basic settings that have to be performed. It's something that you really want to just go ahead and leave to the professionals. So I'm going to wrap it up there. If you guys have any questions or comments on the 7-speed DSG Mechatronics unit, post it in the comments section below. Hey, if you want to learn more about DSG transmissions, I'll put a link to a video that Jason from Engineering Explained and I did right here at my house all about how the DSG transmission worked. Hey, if you like the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at HumbleMechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog and obviously here on YouTube. All right guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. I'm really disappointed. I wanted to like have this in a million pieces and show you guys exactly how it worked. It just wasn't in the cards. Oh, beer of the day. It's been a while. Uh, my folks are in town and they hooked me up with some zombie dust from three boys out of uh, Cool place, awesome pizza and uh, really incredible pizza.